welcome back to the unboxers and today we have for you another awesome Mego! Mego. So this Mego is another Admiral Kirk, but this is from The Wrath of Khan, yes. which is actually the second movie you're saying? Right. Mm -hmm. um, as opposed to the first Kirk, if you didn't see it, that we did was from the television series. Yeah, we've actually done two Captain Kirks um, from the television series. Yeah, uniforms from the Star Trek The Original Series. This is Admiral Kirk from The Wrath of Khan. All right. So, uh, yeah, he looks a little bit different in this one. I mean, just like like you were pointing out, his hair is a little different. Yeah, they kind of gave him some texturing in the hair to kind of make him look a little bit older. Yep. Um, the color of his shirt is different. Of course, you know, there's updates to the costume and the phasers different. And the communicator? Yeah, I think the communicator is same. pretty much the same, but um, but yeah, the phasers updated. I don't remember the, the stripes costume. or whatever on there as well. And this is um, 6505, so I, he's not like out of a certain number. He's yeah, I don't just think it's a, yeah, I think that's just the figure number. To, I'm yeah, guessing. to I'm identify sure him. Works. All right, so this is out of the sci fi series of Amigos. And, da 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 da. Ooh, check it out. Look at the artwork on the back. Very cool. So, um, can you give us a clue of who these. Oh, yeah, well, that's Admiral Kirk, um, Spock. I is that Chris Yale's character? I might be. It's kind of okay. hard to tell. And then of course Khan, Ricardo Montalban, <laughs> not as Mr. Rourke, but as Khan. Awesome. And he's reprising. You know, if you're a Star Trek fan, then you know he's reprising his role. He actually was in the episode Space Seed from the original series where he played Khan, and this Ooh. is kind of the conclusion of the story. All right, and this is an official Mego, and um, this is from you know when now that they're coming back out, not like. Previous, this isn't like right. this is a new. Yeah, these are new. Unfortunately, Migos were huge when this movie came out, uh -huh. um, but unfortunately, they didn't get a chance to make. They had switched over to the like smaller action figures oh, okay. by now, um, and so they didn't make them this size. So it's really cool that they actually get to now make these characters in this size. Yes, awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and get Admiral Kirk out of his packaging and come back and show you what he looks like. We'll be right back. Okay, and here is Admiral Kirk. There you go. Take a look at his... Here's a close-up. It looks really cool. Very cool. Here's the detailing to his hairline, as we specified. I think he looks really good. I like this little, um, like, turtleneck type, yeah. you know, thickness around the neck of the costume. I mean, costume. Uniform. <laughs> probably like, who's wearing a costume? But this is pretty cool. He's got, um, looks like... Is that his admiral rank or something going on? I'm his guessing. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I know a lot of the ranking and stuff was on the sleeve. Right. Let's um, look at his sleeve. And then um, the gold from this one is a lot more muted and less like sparkly gold. Yeah. Which um, uh, gives a different look to it. Which I kind I kind of prefer this one, but you know, it's just when the time, you know, between the difference between the 70s and the 90s. Yeah. And, um, did you say, no, 80s? This came out in 82. Hey, yeah, Rathcon came out in 82, so in the series was, I want to say, in the 60s. Okay, oh, okay, so I got both decades wrong. Anyway, so here you have the Velcro. So this comes, it unvelcros. And, uh, of course, because it's got the cloth costume, this is like a little flap right there, but it's all sewn together. And, um, and there has belt he has two things he has like his belt which holds this on which is kind of like a you know faux leather type thing mm -hmm. a little and this is like plastic which is cool, oh, that's cool you know other than like a sticker and then the uh communicator holder right yeah, which is like the... a separate piece oh okay and it also holds his phaser, phaser yeah very cool which we left um hooked in but he's using his communicator i'd like to communicate to you to subscribe <laughs> <laughs> anyway and uh his shoes look really cool of course he's got the burgundy stripe burgundy or he's maroon got the, and stripe. the classic star trek Black legs that legs. i always remember oh well, the boots like well the boots go up to if if this is like the other ones to his knee and then it's leg <laughs> very cool <laughs> It has that pirate look to it. Yeah. But anyway. But I think they did such cool. a great job on this uniform. Um, I mean, it just, it's 
the textures and you know the part the fact that you know this little part flaps down and the pinstripes on the side of the pants um oh and yes uh he such has a great job head articulation shoulders articulation and then his elbows and his wrists and his waist which is cool um his hips go out as well and the knees a nice good bend at the knee and because he has the boots on, it's not going to be articulated. If he yeah, the Star Trek, the Star Trek figures lose um, the ankle ankle articulation because of the the boots are are actually part of the leg and not not a piece mm -hmm. of piece of clothing. Um, but um, the uh, the Admiral Kirk is part of this Wrath of Khan line. Um, there are three currently. There's um, Khan. Spock and Kirk, um, and they are all part of Wave 7, which is out now. Um, and if you are interested, we will have a graphic at the end um, where you can see all the places where you can um, find Migos and how you can connect with Migo uh, online to learn more about them, um, learn which figures are available and all that fun stuff. And this guy has a great price point of like $14.99. $15. Yes. Fifteen dollars. Yeah, the eight inch, the classic eight inch Migos are fifteen, which is an awesome price point for the size figure with with this level of detail and articulation. So it's really great. Awesome. So this is, I feel like, a must have for those Star Trek fans out there. I think um, out of we've done three. Is this our third Captain Kirk? This is the third Kirk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think he might be my favorite, but um, I gotta find his Spock out there somewhere to go with it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you're a Star Trek fan. Subscribe, like, come back and see us, and we will see you next time.